Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at weapons of mass destruction. And this pack is called the Nuclear Weapons, which are these blocks you see right behind me. So this pack contains what looks like regular warheads and a regular rocket launcher, except these do a lot more damage and have a rather large radius. Yes, these right here is the nuclear rocket launcher where we can blast and have a gigantic blast radius of up to 100 meters. This right next to it is the nuclear warhead which once again has a blast radius of 100 meters and can be placed on a small or large block. And this one right next to it is my personal favorite and that's the thermonuclear warhead which has a default blast radius of 300 meters. Now this mod does have compounding on it, so the more warheads you add together and detonate at the same time, the bigger the blast radius. So just think of the possibilities with that thermal nuclear warhead. But yes, once you've added this in through the mod menu, you can go and start crafting these with the new components which you'll find in your assembler. So over to here and coming over to productions, we got the ammunition for the rocket launcher which is called the nuclear missile. We can see here that it requires iron, nickel, silicon, uranium, platinum and magnesium to build. And then over to here we got ourselves the components to build the warheads which is the enriched uranium ore which takes 10 uranium ingots in order to build. So there we go with that we just go ahead and build them and then once we're in the G menu we can find the warheads right here where it will take 2 enriched uranium ore for the large one and 2 for the small one because they deal the same damage and have the same blast radius. For the thermal nuclear one we'll need 8 enriched uranium cores and of course for the missile launcher if we come over to here we won't need any it just uses standard components. So there we go with that. And now without further ado I think it's time to test these things out. They are a lot of fun but you need to watch out because the missiles have dropped to them and you could very easily damage something you want to keep. So over to here I made a ramshackled large block small ship. And I've got the nuclear missile launcher at the very front. So it's hopping into here, putting on the power and taking off. Now I'm going to put on my HUD. So finding over where the signal, there it is my missile target, which is the Oasis starter base. It's got nothing going on with it and we're simply going to fly all the way over. So now if I bring the free camera all the way over like so, that looks like a perfect view. We're now going to fire the nuclear missile launcher and away it goes. So you can see there, there is quite a lot of drop. Then over there, brace your ears. Look at that, that's absolutely fantastic and that really hurts my ears whenever that explodes. Yes, it's quite a large sound and the base was very lucky that it survived. So that is the radius the missile launcher does and that was very, very lucky on the base's half. So let's just move a little bit closer because I want to make sure that thing actually gets blown up. There we go. We'll now bring the free camera all the way over to here and we'll get a better look at that from this angle. Firing it once again, here comes the missile, all the way over, and we're going to slightly miss it. <laughs> that is one lucky piece. Wow, okay, so we need to just tilt that down a little bit, like so. Firing it one more time, here comes the missile, that should be a direct hit straight onto the base. And there we go, it goes up in a flash and there is absolutely nothing remaining. And that is the destruction of the nuclear missile. But what about the warheads? Yes, let's just hop out of here. And now we're going to come across to one of these bases. So over at the free camera, I'm now going to bring my character all the way over to here. And we're now going to set up the warheads. As you can see here, it's been placed on a rotor in order to make it a small block warhead. And we're just going to come over to this convenient button panel, find our warhead. There it is. And now we're going to arm the warhead. And we're going to start the countdown. I'm now going to move the camera all the way back. And it should be basically the same as the missile which is fired. And my poor character is probably going to go flying. So any second now it's going to explode. There we go. Absolutely monstrous radius. Look at that. And the base is completely gone. Where has my character gone? There he is down there just standing like nothing's happened. That's one fantastic suit to protect you. Yes, this is the crater of the small warhead. But now we're going to come across over to the Oasis base which has the large warhead built in. Wherever that has gone, there it is right over here. Now we're just going to drop him down like so. So grabbing hold of my character once again and finding where the warhead has gone. Should be somewhere around here. There it is. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. We're going to arm the warhead, start the countdown. And we're going to move the camera slightly further away this time. 
and there we are. So this is also 100 meters radius, the tower in the distance is the one with 300 meters radius, and it should be, well, a bit more spectacular at the end of the day. And there we go, once again the base has been vaporized and nothing much remains. So all the way over here for the grand finale of the nuclear weapons mod for the thermal nuclear warhead, which has been situated right inside here, and it looks like we need to place a button panel in order to access it. Okay, we're just going to paste that in there, there we go, and now we're going to come across, we're going to find our warhead, and we're going to arm the warhead and start the countdown once again. We're going to breathe the free crammer all the way over to here, that should be good enough for the 300 meter radius of the thermal nuclear warhead. And there we go, my god that's bright, look at that, that's insane! I think that's almost reached my base in the distance! And then the crater down here, look at that, that's some lasting effects right there. And, uh, well, sadly the base has gone missing, where is my character? This is, oh my god, that has actually done a lot of damage. A lot more damage, there goes the voxels. And the mountainside, it's just been flattened complete, look at that, that was all the way off the ground. Wow, that is absolutely insane. So one final thing to do, being we absolutely flatten that mountainside, is of course go a bit crazy for a grand finale. So over here inside my little testing area, little target dummy testing area, I have pasted quite a few thermal nuclear warheads, and behind me on these signs I've got a couple more. Now this is most likely just going to crash the game, but I have hope that this is going to go absolutely spectacular and the compounding will do its job and combine everything together to basically blow up half the planet. So here we go, we're now going to come over to here, we're going to find this, we're going to find all of our warheads, there we go, and now we're going to arm the warheads, I'm going to start the countdown, there we go, we've got 10 seconds, and we're going to view this from a nice long way away, there we are, and well in about 3 seconds time, we should get one gigantic explosion, oh my god, look, at you can see that from space, that's absolutely insane! My god! We are now in space and we can see the mushroom clouds from, well, that is absolutely, I'm speechless. I wonder what crater we've left down here. That is just, oh, we can even see a little base over there. They got very lucky right there. But where is my base? Well, that is where it was. Let's wait for the game to catch up. There is part of the crater we have made. Where is my character? And they're, wow, they even mess up the character model a fair amount. I don't even know what's going on with the hands. Sort of doing a bit of a wonky break dance. There we go, we now jetpack all the way down. And there we go. You know what, for one final thing, let's just go and make a massive line of these and see how big we can make it. Beans, that was actually surprisingly stable for so many warheads. So here we go, one final time, because that was just something else. Let's just go and make a lovely big block. I think about almost 400 will do there, and we'll make another layer. And there we go, that should do a nice lot. So that is, well, a hell of a lot more than we just did. Now we need to find a button panel, and now we're going to- 660! There we go, there's going to be roughly 660 warheads, and we're going to arm them all, start the countdown, where is the free camera? And we're going to get a nice long way away and, well, this might actually crash the game, because that is a lot more than we had. But here we go. Uh-oh. That's not good. I've lost control of the game. Tiny little bit of smoke. That's not good. I think, I think the game is gone. I think I overdid it. And, oh dear. Oh dear. Game does not like this, but there is the explosion. Okay, that is, that is quite, look, you can even see, look how far away we are, we can still see the explosion. That is just, even there you can see the mushroom crowd just about, crowd, cloud just about, We're getting a bit closer. There we go, wasn't as big as I was thinking, it looks be, looks like there is a cap on how big the explosion gets. Now we can come a bit closer. 
and well, we can kind of see where the explosion happened. There it is, both the explosion together. But now I'm going to stop here because I'm having too much fun with these explosive warheads. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. I highly recommend you do because they could be a lot of fun if you are careful with them and you don't blow up your base. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.